It was a very uh, interesting experience for me to be in this jury. Uh, it's because the, there's such a variety. There are architects, there are non-architects, there are people who are involved in uh, local action. I, I find it enriching in my life to hear the views of uh, women from different parts of the world witnessing life in, from different perspectives and that it, it, it helps me look at the world uh, differently. I think that architects should try and look from their own eyes but also look from the eyes of others. And these kind of situations for two days when you're in a room looking at very, very important work done by architects from all over the world, you hear their views and it makes you see things uh, sometimes in a clearer way, um, sometimes in a new way, and sometimes it reinforces your own views in a more strong way. I found that a very interesting phenomenon, the kind of three positions, uh, standing your own territory and realizing what is fundamentally important uh, within the architectural world that I inhabit, but then there are other worlds, and trying to communicate what your own values are and how much that they can be modified or how much they still ring true no matter what the cultural position is. So I find the jury members really in, uh, truly enriching uh, and uh, Italicamente set up a situation where uh, I can luckily spend two days with highly intelligent, highly active and motivated women to focus on the issue of women. And originally, when I was invited to join this uh, jury, um, I was ambiguous. Uh, Shelley, my business partner, and I discussed this issue. You know, is it necessary a prize for women? Uh, what does it mean? We're fine. We're getting on with our work. But uh, as I quoted the, the Irish poet Evan Boland about until society is truly balanced between men and women in all work, uh, all roles of life, societies are not at their full richness. Women have sometimes have the, the um, human characteristic of stepping back a little bit. They, because, uh, I'm not saying that men don't do it either, but, but women tend to, I, I'm involved in a lot of teaching, and huge numbers of the students are women but after college they somehow dissipate and vanish. And I think that, and they're highly talented. And I wonder where they go. Shelley and I often discuss this. They are very, very talented architects, but somehow they merge into society. And I know there are lots of reasons why that happens. Uh, but I think that society should try and encourage women at all stages of their lives to be uh, involved and that it relies also on the mutual understanding of male partners or male colleagues or our society. So I think this award is actually very interesting because it puts a spotlight on a huge number of really good work. I remember hearing Denise Scott Brown, the American architect, saying that her happiest times were when she was a student. And I found that a sad thing to hear because I think that being working with people, having the opportunities to make projects with people is an amazing, being an architect is an amazing career to try and make the world, to build the world to represent the here and now. Great, thank you guys. I can now have a drink.